Good afternoon. My name is Manshot Singh and today I'll be sharing a journal highlights video on our work entitled Short-Term Pain Outcomes and Pain Medication Utilization Among Urine Toxicology Identified Opioid and Marijuana Users Following Elective Spinal Surgery. I'll be presenting this work on behalf of my co-authors listed on this slide. Elective spinal surgery for the treatment of degenerative spine disease is commonly pursued in the older population to decrease chronic pain and enhance daily functioning. The use of prescription and non-prescription pain medications prior to surgery, such as opioids and marijuana, can alter clinical outcomes. However, this association has primarily been studied through self-reported substance use data. Urine toxicology may instead serve as a more objective indicator of substance use. As such, our goal was to describe the role of preoperative opioid and marijuana use, as determined by urine toxicology, on short-term pain management following elective spinal surgery. We conducted a prospective cohort study between September 2020 and May 2022 enrolling adults undergoing elective spinal surgery at a single outpatient practice in Rhode Island. Demographic, surgical, and pain management outcomes data was collected and analyzed at two-week and three-month postoperative visits. Our study found that preoperative opioid use was associated with continued reliance on opioid, particularly morphine and hydrocodone usage, three months postoperatively. On the other hand, preoperative marijuana use was not associated with a similar reliance on postoperative pain medication usage. Preoperative opioid users also had no significant improvement in pain scores three months postoperatively. Preoperative marijuana users, however, saw a comparable decrease in pain scores as non-marijuana users. In summary, preoperative opioid use identified using urine toxicology was associated with poor postoperative pain relief and continued reliance on postoperative opioid use, but preoperative marijuana use was not. Preoperative marijuana use should hence not be considered a deterrent to elective spinal surgery. Thank you.